Coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Evan Dunham. As hard a title shot to come by as there is in any UFC division is at 155 pounds. Here he is, the consensus number one lightweight title challenger, the number one contender, at least in terms of the rankings, getting set for a title fight here tonight. A lot of people think he is a live underdog in this championship setting. I guess we'll find out here, Joe Rogan. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. All right, here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding professional record of 18 wins, 8 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, introducing the challenger, Evan Dunham. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. This is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. All right, ready to go here with live action from the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Lee gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. He lands the head kick. Oh, he missed that kick. Dunham gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. That one hurt. Really? Oh. Oh. He's stumbling. Oh, very nice. Oh! Well, 
Well, he gets cracked in the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You've got to get that hit off the center line. Now he's in full guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Elbowing him in the face. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Try to pass there, but he gets stopped. Now into side control. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. In half guard position. He's now working from side control again. Half guard. Oh, elbow to the head. In full guard here. Three minutes to go. Donham gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Oh, tagged him. He's got the clinch. Got double underhooks. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. First takedown attempt is there. Half guard. Very nice sweep, winds up in his opponent's guard. Back to half guard now. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Now he's back into full guard. Two minutes now to go. He's moved back into side control. Moves to half guard. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. It looks to me like he's trying to turn towards either side. Hammer fist gets through. He's posturing up here. He transitions back to half guard. Now, now he's on top of half guard. Excellent sweep. And he's trying to pass. Excellent movement here on the ground. Couple big elbows now. He hip escapes from the full mount. And he's maintaining control in the top position. Big body punch. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. 45 seconds to go here. Oh, oh, he hurt him bad. Hard spinning back foot. 30 seconds to go. to some extent. Joe, it looked like he was really going to be submitted there potentially, but the end of the round comes. Back to the stools they go. Let's see it one more time. You there? All right, good. You're fine right now. You got clipped. You were wobbled, but you're tough. We've trained for this before. Brittany Palmer in the building.
there he swung with a haymaker. How about that shin? That one hurt. Defensively, Joe, his approach here has leaving a lot to be desired. He better raise that guard. If not, one more lands flush, and he could get knocked out. Swing and a miss by Lee. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward to combinations. Throw your punches and bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, he left his head open again there, Joe. He's gonna have to make some adjustments with his corner if we get to the next round. He continues to lean in and move into the strike of his opponent. Not a good look for him defensively here. He's got a clinch. Lee's got double underhooks. That one appeared to stun him. He tagged him, he tagged him, he's hurt bad. This could be it right here. Just missed with that huge kick. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Dunk. Head kick. Nice one, two there. Big kick, but miss. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Wow! He's in big trouble. Try some serious power in that oh. kick, but misses. Oh. He's got him hurt here. is there by Evan Dunn. Oh, nice. Dunham's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Leg kick is there. Look at that. Nice. Dunham going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there, Joe. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's working from half guard now. He's got the arm trapped of his opponent. Good defense. into place. And under a minute now to go in the round. He goes upstairs for an elbow. He's moved back to half guard. There's another elbow. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's landing some wicked elbows here. He's now working for full guard. Very nice elbow from the bottom. Into half guard again. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Dunham gets hit by that kick to the midsection, Joe. The glancing right hand lands upstairs. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Lead left by Lee. A 360 degree spinning back kick. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Dunham. Pretty good jab there by Lee. Whoa! And here's a big strike to the head that stuns.
And here's another devastating shot to the head that really does damage. And here's another shot to the head that really stuns. You can see the exchange in that round. Incredible action by both fighters. The original Ariane Celeste, good to have her in the building as usual. All right, here we go with this third round of this oh, championship. Oh. He's in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Man, has his chin been tested early. Oh, straight right. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice kick. Big power in that kick. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. He's keeping busy here, connecting with a lot of punches. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well-timed kick there, Joe. Oh, nice strike landed there by him. Another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the ladder stage. Oh! oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Beautiful right hook. He is stumbling. Vicious combination. Dunham's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, huge shot there, lands flush. Well, he moved right into that straight punch, Joe. Left the body wide open, and his opponent wisely took advantage. Let's see if he adjusts here moving forward. And he connects there. Just misses the over. Oh, he's oh. out! Landed a hard kick for the knockout. Well, yeah, Joe, you want to talk about execution, and he just couldn't have done it any better than that. He is known for his kicks, and that was just a perfectly placed and timed kick. Full force, landed flush, full extension with the leg, and you knew that if his opponent didn't get the guard up, that was going to be the end of the night, and he went good night. Here it is one more time. Ba-boom! And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with style points as he gets the knockout to leave with the goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 56 seconds at round number three. Playing the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, all smiles, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, and what a way to get it done here tonight as he gets it done with the knockout. You talk about maximizing a showcase. I'm just not sure he could have done it any better. Smart approach to the fight, and the window of opportunity opened. He closed the show. Congratulations to the team as they celebrate the title defense here tonight.